Hello fellow investors, welcome back to the Building Wealth channel. On today's agenda we're peeling back the layers of the exchange-traded funds universe, zeroing in on the top 10 ETFs that could be the game-changers in your investment portfolio. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, you're in for a treat. Exchange-traded funds or ETFs are a type of investment fund and exchange-traded product traded on stock exchanges. ETFs are similar to mutual funds, but they trade like a stock on an exchange. They offer investors an avenue to achieve broad diversification in their portfolios across a wide array of assets and at a relatively low cost. So, ready to take a deep dive into the world of ETFs? Stick around as we unravel these top 10 ETFs, their strategies, and how they could potentially add value to your investment journey. Stay tuned to discover these promising ETFs. First on our list is the Vanguard Total International Stock ETF, more commonly known as VXUS. This ETF is a remarkable tool for investors looking to diversify their portfolios beyond the confines of the United States. VXUS offers a broad exposure to both developed and emerging markets worldwide, excluding the US. It includes companies of all sizes, from small startups to multinational giants, and covers a wide range of sectors. This broad exposure can help to mitigate risks associated with investing in a single country or sector. Moreover, it's a passively managed fund, tracking the performance of the FTSE Global All Cap X US Index. This means lower costs for you, the investor. So, if you're an investor seeking international diversification with a long-term investment horizon, VXUS could be a suitable choice for you. To sum it up, VXUS provides exposure to international stocks, offering diversification beyond U.S. borders. Moving on to our second ETF pick, we have the Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF with the ticker symbol SCHD. Now, this is a fund that zeroes in on U.S. dividend-paying stocks. What makes it stand out? Well, it's a particularly attractive choice for those investors who are looking for regular income streams. SCHD tracks the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index, which represents high dividend yielding U.S. securities. By investing in SCHD, you essentially get exposure to a hundred of the top dividend paying U.S. companies. Now, it's important to remember that dividends are not just a nice bonus. They can be a critical part of your overall return. And in a world where interest rates are historically low, dividends can provide a much needed boost to your investment income. So if you're an income-seeking investor, the Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF SCHD is certainly worth considering. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding your investment options is the first step to building wealth. Next up, let's explore the Invesco S&P 500 GARP ETF, commonly known by its ticker SPGP. Now, SPGP is a truly intriguing ETF as it employs a growth at a reasonable price or GARP strategy. This approach involves investing in companies that, you guessed it, offer growth potential but at a price that isn't over the top. In the case of SPGP, it's all about the S&P 500. The fund tracks companies within this renowned index that are projected to have strong growth. By focusing on the S&P 500, SPGP offers a nice balance of large cap stability and growth potential. Remember, a GARP strategy can be a sound way to balance the risk and reward in your portfolio. So if you're looking to tap into the growth potential of the S&P 500 without paying an arm and a leg, the Invesco S&P 500 GARP ETF could be worth your consideration. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through the top 10 ETFs. Let's turn our attention now to the Schwab Fundamental International Large Company Index ETF, or FNDF for short. This ETF is a bit of a game changer as it focuses on fundamental factors in international large companies. Now, you might be wondering, what does that mean? Well, instead of weighting companies simply by their size as most traditional index funds do, FNDF takes into account factors like sales, cash flow, and dividends plus buybacks. This approach gives a unique perspective to global investing. It's like looking at the world through a different lens. You're not just relying on size as a measure of worth, but also considering the underlying health and performance of a company. So, if you're an investor who likes to delve deeper into a company's fundamentals, FNDF could be a great addition to your portfolio. It offers a refreshing alternative to traditional market cap weighted international ETFs. Next up, let's explore the Vanguard Midcap Growth ETF or VOT. Or, shifting gears now, let's talk about the Vanguard Midcap Growth ETF, also known as VOT. This ETF takes a specific focus on midcap growth companies. Now you might be asking, 
What exactly is a mid-cap company? In simple terms, it refers to companies that fall right in the middle of the pack in terms of market capitalization. They're not the largest corporations, but they're not small businesses either. What makes VOT compelling is its aim to capture the potential for growth in this mid-sized segment of the market. These companies often have ample room to expand and innovate, which can translate into attractive returns for investors. However, like any investment, it's important to note that this ETF comes with its own set of risks and rewards. So if you're looking to diversify your portfolio and potentially tap into the growth opportunities offered by mid-cap companies, the Vanguard Mid-Cap Growth ETF could be a solid choice for you. Let's now shift our focus to bonds with the Vanguard Intermediate Term Corporate Bond ETF, often known by its ticker symbol VCIT. This ETF is an appealing option for investors seeking exposure to the fixed income market, specifically in the intermediate term corporate bond space. VCIT aims to track the performance of a market-weighted corporate bond index with an intermediate term dollar-weighted average maturity. So, what does this mean for you as an investor? Well, it offers a balance between income and risk. With intermediate term bonds, you're getting a higher yield compared to short-term bonds, but with less risk and price volatility than long-term bonds. VCIT invests in high-quality corporate bonds, which are typically issued by companies with lower credit risk. This can provide a steady stream of income, making it a suitable choice for conservative investors looking for more stability in their portfolios. Remember, as with any investment, it's crucial to understand your risk tolerance and investment goals before jumping in. Next on our list is the iShares Floating Rate Bond ETF, known by its ticker symbol, FLOT. This ETF is a unique financial instrument that offers investors an opportunity to safeguard their portfolios against the ebb and flow of interest rates. How so? Well, FLOT invests in floating rate bonds, which are a special type of bond with an interest rate that adjusts or floats in line with prevailing market rates. This means that when interest rates rise, the yield on these bonds rises too, providing a degree of protection for investors. Conversely, when rates fall, the yield on these bonds decreases, but this is typically offset by an increase in the bond's price. Therefore, FLOT serves as a useful tool for investors looking to hedge against interest rate risk. It's like having an insurance policy for your bond investments. Remember, Understanding the mechanics of such ETFs can be the key to unlocking their potential in your portfolio. Let's move on to our eighth ETF, the iShares National Munibond ETF, also known as MUB. This ETF is a unique one, as it targets the municipal bond sector. Municipal bonds, or MUNIS for short, are bonds issued by local governments and their agencies. These bonds are particularly popular among investors in higher tax brackets, and here's why. The income generated from these bonds is exempt from federal taxes, and potentially from state and local taxes as well, depending on where you live. This tax-exempt status can make the yields on muni bonds quite attractive, especially when compared to taxable bonds. MUB invests in a diversified portfolio of muni bonds, providing investors with broad exposure to this asset class. So, if you're looking for a tax-efficient way to generate income, MUB might be a good fit for your portfolio. But remember, as with any investment, it's crucial to do your homework before diving in. Moving on, we have the Avantis U.S. Small Cap Value ETF, also known as AVUV. This exchange-traded fund zeroes in on U.S. small cap value stocks, giving investors a unique opportunity to tap into the potential of smaller, undervalued companies. Don't let the term small cap fool you, though. These companies may be small in comparison to their large cap counterparts, but they often pack a punch when it comes to growth potential. AVUV targets companies that exhibit strong fundamentals, which could include robust earnings, solid balance sheets, and promising business models. These are the kind of companies that may be flying under the radar now, but have the potential to become tomorrow's industry leaders. So, if you're an investor looking to diversify your portfolio and are comfortable with the higher risk that can come with small cap stocks, AVUV could be an ETF worth exploring. The potential upside could be well worth the risk. Next up, we'll be looking at the Columbia US ESG Equity Income ETF or ESGS. Last, but certainly not least on our list, is the Columbia US ESG Equity Income ETF or ESGS. This ETF stands out from the crowd by combining two key investment themes, equity income and ESG, which stands for Environmental, Social and Governance. 
ESGS aims to deliver equity income, which means it focuses on stocks that pay out dividends. But what makes ESGS really distinctive is its commitment to ESG principles. These principles guide the fund in selecting companies that are not only financially sound, but also demonstrate good practices in areas such as environmental sustainability, social responsibility, and corporate governance. So if you're an investor looking to generate income from your investments while also supporting companies that do good for the world, ESGS could be an excellent addition to your portfolio. It's a great example of how modern investing can align financial goals with personal values, showing that you can make money while making a positive impact. Each of these ETFs serves a unique purpose in an investor's portfolio. As we've explored, they offer a range of opportunities, from international stock exposure with Vanguard's VXUS to income-driven strategies with Schwab's SCHD. Invesco's SPGP provides access to growth potentials, while Schwab's FNDF and Vanguard's VOT tap into the fundamentals of large international companies and mid-cap growth companies, respectively. Vanguard's VCIT and iShares FLOT offer unique bond strategies, balancing income and risk, and providing protection against interest rate fluctuations. For those in higher tax brackets, iShares MUB offers tax-exempt income through municipal bonds. Avantis's AVUV targets U.S. small-cap value stocks with strong fundamentals and growth potential. And finally, Columbia's ESGS offers an ESG-focused strategy, aiming to deliver equity income while considering sustainable and responsible investment criteria. This diverse collection of ETFs underscores the importance of diversification. By including a mix of these ETFs in your portfolio, you can achieve broad exposure to different asset classes and market segments. This not only helps manage risk but also enhances potential returns. Remember, the key to successful investing lies in aligning your choices with your specific investment goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. This video is just a starting point. Dive deeper into each ETF, understand their strategies, and align them with your investment goals. Your feedback and insights matter. Feel free to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments. Let's build a community of informed investors sharing knowledge and learning from each other. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. It helps us reach more people and spread the word about these promising ETFs. And if you haven't done so yet, do subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you won't miss our future videos. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, happy investing.